Hi there everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. So in today's video I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the mating habits of lions. So enjoy the video. <laughs> Right guys, now that was quick and it looked a bit painful and that is because it is. So in today's video I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what makes it so interesting for lions to mate. Now lions tend to mate quite often in a day, about a hundred times a day for about 14 to 16 seconds at a time and they can do this for up to 6-7 days but um, researchers have recently seen that a female going into ovulation basically um, try and entice the males in the, the pride. So if there are a couple of males in a pride, normally it's a coalition of brothers, she would uh, basically choose the best suitor and then she would go and entice him. So the first moves are made by the female. Then basically when they start mating, it's a quick session and basically the, the female then lies in front of the male as you saw and the male will mate with her and then bite her neck. Now there's a couple of reasons why he might want to do this. And number one which I think makes the more sense out of all of the reasons people are trying to give for this is the male have got something called penile spines. Now just like with your oh, look at my beautiful house cat just like with house cats Males also have penile spines, so they do use that to scrape the insides of the lady's genital areas. And what that does is it stimulates the um, the cycle, basically the ovulation cycle. And also, some people believe, still a myth, it's not been proven yet, that it might scrape out the semen of the previous male that have mated with that female. Now, with house cats, you find it quite a lot that a female might have a litter and then some of the litter might not even look like any of the others. And that's because of the fact that there's quite a lot of different male suitors with different semen, obviously. So, with that whole fact where they state that it scrapes out all of the semen, that's not true. So, with the coalition of male uh, brothers uh, mating with a female, Basically, she will choose one, she will mate with him, and then when he pulls out, it really, really hurts. So that's why, one of the reasons why he bites her neck, is to sort of stop her from turning around and giving him the biggest smack of his life. So this hurts for about the first few days, and then after a while, she sort of gets used to it. But it still looks quite painful. Now guys, when the little baby is born, little baby lions actually are born with little spots. And that is to aid them in camouflage because the female actually goes away from the pride, uh, gives birth, has a couple of young, sometimes up to six at a time. And um, then what happens is 
These little babies are sometimes left alone when the mom goes out and have a drink and they need to protect themselves against other predators like leopards, hyenas, um, other lions. So when, then when the babies are a little bit older, she brings them back to the pride and they start getting their own tan colors and the normal lion coloration. So what happens later on, if for instance there's a new pride taking over, they actually might kill the little babies. And an interesting fact I read recently is that some of the females with young cubs, they act uh, a fake ovulation. So that sort of pre prevents the males from killing her cubs, if that makes sense. But anyway, so then when the babies are a little bit older, the females, after about two years, when they reach sexual maturity, they stay in the pride, but the males are then ostracized. They're kicked out from the pride and they need to go and fend for themselves. Unfortunately for young males, if they are not uh, in a coalition or so, it will be very difficult for them to become the next dominant males of the pride. Now guys, I hope you found this interesting. It's not every day that you can see lions mating in the wild, but uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to see this in Kruger National Park. But uh, if you found it interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, click on your bottom right hand corner. That way you will be automatically subscribed on YouTube. And uh, if you're uh, new to my channel and you are also on Facebook, why not join the Facebook group, The Wild Wanderers of Southern Africa? There's a link down below for that. I am also on Twitter and Instagram. There's a nice Instagram handle for you guys here and a link down below if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram. I do post a whole lot of wildlife photographs there. But that's it for me for this week, guys. Uh, try and see if you can make it for tomorrow's Trail Camp Tuesday video. There's a really, really nice one. Have a fantastic week, guys. Bye for now.